Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am 7 6 and I am back with some more Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. So, last video, I opened 66 packs, got a couple of the uh, legendaries out of it. Now, I've actually calculated a little bit, and there are two legendaries that I really, really want. Now, as I said, I don't really care about Goldens, so I was planning on disenchanting them all, and I got to the conclusion that I'm actually about 250 dust short to craft um, the two legendaries without starting, you know, to disenchant things that I have double and stuff. Um, although I don't really like the Murloc, so I'm probably going to get rid of him. So, what I've decided on doing, kind of because a buddy of mine kind of suggested it, is I still have one thing that I still have to do, namely, I never did my free arena run, so I'm still going to be doing that, so I thought, why not just do that arena run now? Uh, it should give me a Goblins vs. Gnome pack. It should. I don't know if it will. I hope so. Meh. Um, but I still have to do my free arena run, and I thought I'm going to... Um, I thought I'd do this now. Now, I'm going to warn you, you guys. Right to awaken me. Oh, man, I love I this. Let you down. My magic will prevail. Sorry, just random. Um, so, pretty much, the thing you do have to count in is I'm not an arena player. <laughs> I mostly play Constructed. I've played a little bit of arena. Um, especially, like, in the beginning to build up my card collection. Um, but that changed, like, pretty quickly. I won't let you down. So, pretty much, you are right to awaken me. I need to pick one of these three classes to do the arena run with. And uh, the thing that I'm going to try to do is, I mean, I'm probably not going to get a lot of wins, honestly, because it's me. Um, my maximum is like 10, and it's with my Mage. Magic will prevail. So, you know, it's probably going to suck. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty much... Um, I'm gonna do an arena run, open up the pack, and hope that I get something from it, you never know. Now, the question remains, who to choose? You know what, let's go with the Mage. My magic will prevail. I don't know, I just... She's sexy, what am, what am I gonna say, like, really? Alright, Mage. Wow. Starts off great, especially knowing I have zero RNG in my life. Yeah, that's why I'm picking that one. Um, oh my god. What is this? Uh, abusive is not bad for traits, but I'm gonna go with Kong. Boulder Fists. Huh. Earth Ring or... Yeah, I do prefer Flame Cannon. Flame Cannon is a really good card, actually. Don't know how it matches up in Arena. Do I prefer having Silence or a 5-4... Hmm, that's a good question, actually. I guess the silence? Although the Lost House Rider does have better stats, clearly, like, you know, plus one, plus one. Huh. It's actually a good one. Hmm. Spellbreaker, fuck it. Polymorph. Good removal. Yeti. Always good. Ah oh, man, I should have picked a 5-4, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Worgen, just because it's early game and I'm already gonna be up on 4 drops, especially if I can things like Fireball or Flame Strike, of course. Why not? Bomb Lobber. Ooh, Bomb Lobber's not bad. Defender's not bad either. Man, Bomb Lobber, just because I like Bomb Lobber. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so the problem is, I don't really know how my deck's gonna turn out. But I doubt I'm going to have a deck that's going to be like, you know, I can drop this. Sea Giant's not bad, but Faceless. But Sea Giant? Hey, let's try the Sea Giant. I've actually never taken this in Arena, honestly. Uh, Spiteful versus Flame Cannon. I don't really have a lot of early game yet. Don't think I really need to, so I'm going to pick this. Uh, don't have secrets. Yeah, Loot Holder, I guess. Don't really have anything decent to duplicate yet, so fuck it, log all them. Oh man. Oh crap! No, no, no! Oh my god. I wanted to pick the champion there. Oh my god. Failing already. Unstable because I need more early game. 
Uh, I guess Wolf Rider since it's decent removal. Fireball, because it's good. Ah. Huh. Pyromancer, I have one, two, three, four, five spells. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the Kodo anyway, because I really like Kodo actually. <laughs> Do I want another Boulder Fist? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> uh, Arcane Intellect for some draw power. Uh, Knife Juggler, because it's a two drop. Water Elemental, because it's awesome. Fireball, because it's awesome. Wild Pyro, because it's a two drop. And I really don't like Death Lord. Silver Hand Knight, because it's a decent card. Uh, how many two drops do I have? One, two, three, four. Huh. Four two drops. So do I want the Bloodfin or the Dragon? Dra how many four cards, man? Do I actually have something that I want to drop on four? One, two, I have two. Eh. Yeah, let's pick the dragonling, I guess. Violet it. <laughs> Not even going to ask that one. Injured. Oh, that's it. Okay, so I have a lot of fours. Well, probably because I have two fireballs and a polymorph, I guess. Alright. This could work. This could work. I can see this working. This is going to suck balls, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be great. Gina versus Alright, wow. <laughs> really? I'm two seconds into the game? For it. Seriously, dude. Oh, knife juggler. Alright. Guess I'm gonna drop these. Do I keep this? This is pretty good against Warrior. I'm gonna keep Water Elements just because it's pretty good against Warrior. Uh, two, three, four. I like that. Does he have a one drop though? Alright, he does not have a one drop. Clearly. Um now the question is do I want to coin this out? Because I'm not gonna have a two drop. And if he has a fiery war axe, that just literally kills me, so no. Haunted Reaper. I can live with that. I can actually live with that. I might actually coin out the uh, pilot of Treader slash Water Elemental to turn after. Just cause, you know. I don't know, just cause. <laughs> cause they're better cards than... Well, Injured Blade Master is actually not a bad 3 drop. It's gonna armor, it's gonna go face, I guess. Now's the... Now we get to the... Uh, so now's the question, do I coin one out, and if so, which one? Because I don't want to trade for this. Let me immediately be clear. This is not a good thing to trade with right now. Uh, so. What to do? I guess I coin out the water elemental. Like if he has a dead spite, he's going to trade with this. He can't hit the water elemental, but the water elemental can hit him. Yeah, let's go water elemental. face, it's not bad. So next turn's probably gonna be Pilot of Treader, except if he like drops something that forces me to Cone of Cold. Which is a possibility. Cause this thing can die and then like turn into two one ones. So I guess. I was gonna sign Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, this could be fun. I can actually three for one this. Because what I can do is I can hit this with the water elemental probably. Since this stays at two then. Then Cone of Cold, the one, the, these, the, this guy, killing this and one of the one ones. Keep the one one on board and hit his face. I strangely enough like that. The question is, is that a good move? I think it is actually, because it... Yeah, screw it. Let's go for it. Uh, I'm not going to trade for that thing, I'm just going to go face. 
I'm not gonna trade for this, just... I don't know, I don't think he buffs that easily. Plus, I have Wild Power Mancer or Arcane Intellect next turn, so... Like, even if he clears my board, I can just Wild Power Mancer or Arcane Intellect. Holy crap! Okay. That's great. Huh. Unstable Ghoul's not bad. Unstable Ghoul... Injured? Hope I hit this in one of the two. Yeah, because that force... Yeah, I like that. Hit it. Yep. Honestly, whether I hit it or not, I don't think it... Although, it could have mattered if he had abusive. But what if you used abusive if he... Uh, don't hit this! Thank you. <laughs> this guy always reminds me of a scene in the Pink Panther. One, no, not the new ones, the old ones with uh, Peter Sellers. Anyone who right now says, wait, what? Old ones? What? Seriously. Get your shit together. <laughs> so now we get to the question, do I drop the pilot of Treader, hope I hit this and ping it, or... Do I drop the loot hoarder, hope I ping this and hit it? I think I go pilot it, if I miss I just trade and drop the loot hoarder. If I don't miss... If I hit this, I ping it. I think I'm gonna do it like that. What do I got? Ooh, nice. So I'm actually, um, yeah, two cards ahead because I have two cards on board. Well, now I'm one card ahead since he has, he had his draw. It's actually not bad. I like it. Oh my god! With the weapons, dude. What the frick? <laughs> Drop an acolyte, come on. <laughs> you know you want to. <laughs> River croc, what? Okay, so it's that. Like really? Out of all the cards, it had to be a captain's parrot. Oh my god. That's just lame. Alright, um, Hmm. Okay, so the problem with this is that I have no real drops that he's not gonna wanna hit. I think I might just Arcane Intellect here. Yeah. Polymorph, meh. Yeti's good. Although, no, it's not. Because Yeti's pretty much gonna guarantee that he kills. Because Yeti's gonna get killed no matter what. This is too, but you know. Could also just go face. Like ping this, go face. What to do? What to do? Time runs out on me. Hey, catch! Eh, fuck it. Let's drop the pyromancer. I have no idea why I just dropped the pyromancer, but fuck it. I actually have no idea why I just dropped this. Ah, oh, I hate this. It's not that I think that's why it's a good bad card, trust me. I know it's a freaking good card. This is up to seven. I have three damage. If I draw a fireball, I win. That was honestly one of the things I was hoping for, that I was going to draw into a fireball. Because that would have given me lethal. I'm kind of hoping he just hits this, or just hits face or something. Yeah, okay, he's going to hit like that. Actually, I have no idea why I did not expect that. Seriously, Captain's Parrots. This guy keep- Wait, what? What the frick are you doing? You just took one and this is- What? Okay. Fireball? No. Ooh, Old Fist is not bad. Loot order or ping loot order? Let's get some card right in here. Yeah, you can trade, by all means, trade. I just want to get to my two fireballs that are still in the deck. 
At least those dumb things give me lethal. First, if I draw into my no, that is not a fireball. So I guess I just drop these two. I mean, come on. Ready, sir. This gives me a feel that you know once again gives me lethal. This doesn't go face, by the way, before anyone even tries to say it. What the? For a second there, I thought I got armor like twice. Or that happens, that's also a possibility. Hey! First one with mage. Woohoo! I like it. He's enjoying himself, isn't he? This is a buddy of mine, by the way. He pulled like every single fucking legendary in the game. <laughs> No, I didn't, but you got a couple. What do you get? Golden Gazrilla? Golden, golden other thing? He's probably going to comment at the moment he sees this video. Jaina versus Malfurion. Malfurion! I must protect the one. You asked for it. Mm hmm. Hmm. I could coin out the knife juggling and drop the loot hoarder, but... Don't know if I like that. I think I prefer not doing that. Question is, what do I want to keep? I don't think I want to keep the loot horror for one very simple reason. He has a zero ability. These two, on the other hand... Uh, yeah, no, let's do it like that. Yep, pilot of Trader, awesome. Four drop. I have a couple of four drops in the deck. <laughs> Should be able to draw them. Whee! <laughs> what? Ooh, sea giant. Uh, I'm not gonna coin anything else. Oh yeah, it's two. That's good to know. For people who don't know how to play with the board. Actually, how far can you get this? Oh, you can shoot the mana crystals. Awesome. Put this apple on your head. Drop the knife juggler. See what he does against it. I don't think I'm gonna drop the pilot of shredder next turn simply because I could have actually coined injured blade mastered. But the reason I didn't is yeah, the reason it's not that great is because wrath does kill both of them, and then I'd rather have him kill the knife juggler than the injured blade. So you know. <laughs> Let's just say that I thought about that. <laughs> can I shoot his cards? No, I can shoot his face, but that's about it. Uh, that's probably going to get hit by my knife juggler. I think I prefer developing this. I actually have a very decent curve, because like turn 6 I can coin out the war golem. I like it. Injured trade? Do I injure trait? That's the question right now. I could go. F nah, if I go face, he's gonna trade for the injured blade master. Plus, he could use. Ah, damn it! I was hoping for this. Plus, he could use a uh, mark of nature, and that would. Would that suck? Yeah, that would suck, cause he would trade for the knife juggler, and I wouldn't have a decent trade. Sorry for people who are getting pissed off by the fact that I keep, like, clicking and stuff. Oh, he's... Whoa. What? Okay. It's actually deck. That's fine. Ooh, water elemental. I prefer water elemental. I do think water elemental is actually a better job than pilot of treader, simply because, I don't know, pilot of treader just fucking rules. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't know what he's gonna do with this thing, but yeah. The thing is, if he buffs this, like this trades for it. Actually, yeah, in that way, this is better than this too because Mark of Nature. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Ugh, Damn it. What do I want to develop now, though? I don't really have an easy trade on this. That's the problem with Entrico Mark. Come on, give me a fireball. Give me the fireball. Does this actually do anything? No, it doesn't. What to do? Why is there a banana here? Oh. Huh, the flying machine. That I did not want. Just saying. Oh man, I need one more drop. That sucks. One more drop and I would have been able to, to uh, drop my sea giant. Which would have traded for that, except if he hit it. Well, yeah, he would have traded for two, so I guess. Hmm. I think I just developed the Spectral Knight. Although, if I develop the Spectral Knight... What's gonna happen if I develop the Spectral Knight right now? He's gonna trade for it. This is gonna become a two health minion. Which is going to trade for this, but this is going to trade for this. So I'm actually going to have two for two, pretty much. Mm, can't cast spells on this. Next turn I can coin out the War Golem, but I don't know if I want to. Probably not. If I drop the Pilot of Treader, that doesn't do anything. If I drop this on the thing, that doesn't do anything. Uh, although... Doesn't it? Actually, I think... Yeah, no. Okay, the reason I'm going like this is because the Spectral Knight and the Suits Brewer both have the same thing against the Ventrico Merc, simply because they both deal 6 damage. Uh, they both are going to deal 6 damage to this together, plus the thing you do have to count out in is this guy can't die, which means his creatures are going to cost 3 more, which is the one disadvantage about Ventrico Merc, namely that I can get some tempo. Um, you know, the advantage for me that is. I don't know if I said disadvantage or advantage, so don't worry about it. So what is he gonna do? Is he gonna swipe this? Oh, he's gonna swipe this. It doesn't matter extremely much. Ooh, ooh! If he drops a couple of small things, I can, I can really use that. Now the question is, what do I drop? I think I go for the war golem and go face next turn, because that thing's gonna be frozen. So yeah. The thing is, I could also drop the Sea Giant, but I don't really want to trade these two into each other. Told you. Easy game to play, hard game to master. Man. <laughs> Why do I have this? First arena run and I already start misclicking. to work once. I got like one of these things to explode at one point. Man. How do you do that again? Someone's gonna put it down in the comments below. I might flame strike this, but I'm not sure actually. I could just drop a sea giant. I could. I could drop sea giant, go face. No, I don't want to go face if I drop the sea giant. If I drop the sea giant, I don't want to go face. What do I want to do if I go. If I flame strike right now, I go face for seven, and he's going to have a problem with that. Except for Iron Bark Protector, which comes down next turn. Hmm. So this might actually be the right play, because if I see Giant right now, he drops the Iron Bark Protector, he trades these two into that, except if I trade this for that. Or this for that, doesn't what really matter which do. one. I could actually trade this for that, but that's like four damage overkill, and I don't really want to do that. Other option is Spectral Knight ping this, but then he's still going to trade, so I should then at that point. At that point, I should go face. Then the problem oh, as a... Oh, crap. Yeah, let's just flame. Oh, no, no, no. Flame strike. Ah! 
This might have been the wrong play. I have no idea. But as I said, this is because of Iron Park Protector. Pr 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 protector. Because this can come down right now. See? See? I told you. I told you he was going to drop an Iron Bark Protector. Oh. Oh, man. Do I have spell damage? No, I don't. Damn it. That sucks. <laughs> so, what do I want to do? I want to ping that, hit that. So that gives me six mana to work with. So I guess Spectral Knight. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't want to ping my own creature. Spectral Knight. Awesome card. I don't know. Is, does anyone think Sea Giant would have been the better play here? Well, no. It would have been the better play than Flame Strike. Because I could have traded for the Ventricle Merc. He would have had his 2 1 left. Mm -hmm. I would have had a Flame Strike left. But the thing is, does Flame Strike actually give me anything? That's that's the thing I'm wondering. Like, will Flame Strike? Because we're playing against a Druid, and Druid can mostly take pretty high value cards. Please don't drop a second one. Seriously, don't drop a second one. Please, don't. He. <laughs> Got the best deals what? What the hell kind of spells do you have? Oh, Mark of Nature. What are you gonna give it for? Attack or for a life? Oh my god, four health actually sucks. Although, not necessarily. It, got, it did get a card draw off of it, that sucks. Oh man, Fireball's always like one too little. God dang it. Or one too. I don't know. Damn it. I want now I would like to have my suit spewer, goddammit. Uh, let's just fire this. Repel the Ready, sir. Worst thing he can do is swipe, and swipe puts it down to a 4 1 and a f and 2 1, so. I can. Can I live with that? I don't know if I can live with that. If he leaves this on the field and just drops a couple of creatures, I get a sea giant, so fuck it. <laughs> did play a swipe already, so the chances of him having a second one are... I'm not going to say pretty low, but I'm going to say lower. The thing is, however, you do draft swipe pretty easily in Druid, simply because it's one of your only really good forms of removal. Except if you really want to count Recycle, but... <laughs> who the frick counts Recycle these days? Hmm. So I feel like it's we're still pretty good. Uh, get behind me. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, so one little thing I do want to say for the beginning players. So, Sea Giant costs one less for each Melder minion on the battlefield, right? So, in this case, I know I'm going to trade the 4 2 and the 4 4 into these two, right? Now, the thing that you have to realize is if I trade these two first, this becomes 7 mana. But there's another thing, namely, I'm going do. to drop this as well. So if I drop the Pilot of Treader, then drop the Sea Giant, I still have two mana to ping him. And then I can trade these cards. <laughs> Which is pretty decent value, actually. Because, I mean, in the end, he drew Gadgetson's... So pretty much, Gadgetson's and Mark of Nature traded... So pretty much you have to count in that Booty Bay Bodyguard, Gadgetson's Auctioneer, and... Ugh, and, um... What was I saying? Gadgetson's Auctioneer, Mark of Nature, and the other card that I played... Uh, that he played, um... Booty Bay, let's say, traded for Spectral Knight and Fireball. So that's pretty much a 2 for 3, so that's not bad, actually. Uh, I could Wolf Rider that. I think I'm gonna Wolf Rider that. So I'm gonna trade this into this. I think I'm gonna Wolf Rider ping this. The reason I want to Wolf Rider ping is because I want to keep this. Alright, let's see. What is it? 
get. Three, three. Yeah, that sucks. It's kind of sad. Doesn't really count. Ooh. Uh, if you insist. Not gonna drop anything else just because I don't really like overextending that much. He clearly doesn't have a BGH or he would have played it. <laughs> That's why I, why I like these freaking mechs. They can get so much value. It's true, I did. Uh, I traded half my pilot of Treader and a Wolf Rider into it, but it's not bad. I mean, come on, just a minute. It's getting a lot longer than the last one. But I'm doing pretty well. I mean, I technically have like half a card, half a card. You could say five cards to four, pretty much. And he just drew, so. Hmm. I count these as half a card. Just, just saying. Because this one's the half of the Silver Hand Knight, this one's half of the other. Uh, whatchamacallit. Is he gonna go for one or no, he's going for three? You never know. I mean, you could have gone for one and hit it with zero ability just to get the. Oh my god, seriously? Ventrico? Oh, I hate this guy. Every single time they draft it, it's like, oh my god, stop being annoying. Every time I freaking drop it, they have a BGH for it. It's ridiculous. Uh I don't really like draggling mechanic against Druid. How much damage do I have? 10. He has 18 health. Could go face, actually. Hmm. I could actually go face. Just go, just just be greedy. But don't really, don't really want to leave this out here. Because he's going to, nah, he trade for the 2-2 two -two piece and then I'd still have to trade the same, I'd still have to trade that. Nah, <laughs> drop the machine. I'm not gonna drop the Kodo actually. Uh, so this uh, is going face. If you insist. This. I guess it's this. This is not a bad card, but meh. I don't really like Dragon Link mechanic that much, honestly. It screwed me over a couple of times in the past arena runs I've had. But that's me, I mean, you know. Everything screws me over. What the hell? A fish, really? What? You should be able to shoot that. <laughs> Why is that the first thing I think? You should be able to like shoot that and then it should like become like cooked fish or baked fish or whatever you want to call it. Uh, except if he has a... <laughs> I was going to say, except if he has a poison seed, this is pretty much... This is a pretty good field. Like, this is the problem Druid really has. They don't really have extremely decent... I mean, you could say Swipe's a really good card, but honestly... It's the reason I pretty much didn't pick Druid, because... The best thing Druid has is Iron Bark Protector, you could say. They are um, in, in Arena. But that's like, it. Soul of the Forest. Okay, how much damage do I have? I have a grand total of 10 freaking damage. So he's gonna get two twos off of those. So I can ping the 2 1. So wait, I can ping the 2 1, which makes it a 2 2. I can 4 5 2 2 into this, which makes it a 2 2. I can drop the other 2 4 into the 2-2, two, two, and then I can stampede and code to the other one. The reason I'm gonna do this is because at that point he's top decking and I still have a decent field. Because I really don't like just putting him down to 5 simply because I'd have to draw my fireball and I don't really drag like my odds, so... Ping this... Trade this... I guess I trade this first... Uh, stampeding... One of them dies... This trades, this trades. This does not plan to swipe. Uh, playing loot or dust, flying machine doesn't. Alright. So swipe, I think saves him actually. Ironbark does too, but you know Ironbark always saves you. Except if your opponent is BGH, which is the reason it's not seen in constructed play pretty much. He has a does he re did he really Oh my god! what? 
This is why I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> he top decks a freaking swipe, really? Out of all the cards you could have top decked, you had to top deck a freaking swipe? This is madness. This is dumb. Ooh! Ha! Top decked. I'm going to armor plating this, by the way. Just because otherwise, it just hero abilities it. Don't really want to drop the loot hoarder. I prefer like being able to keep. Although, should I? I could have actually dropped, but nah, that would have played into a third. Woo! I can see. The I think loot hoarder would have played into third swipe, which is just like you know, knowing my luck. Oh yeah, I'm playing mage. I forgot about that. I have a 40 gold quest for this. <laughs> I forgot about that. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot about that. So yeah, two wins. So I guess I'm going to cut this episode short, just simply because I know that else, you know. So I'm going to cut this into pieces. I actually should have watched how long I've been recording. I don't know. This might be a longer video. But yeah, so this is a this is a two old ray. This looks pretty good. I like it. Might actually go pretty good with this. We'll see. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, with that I'm going to cut this second episode of GVG off. I hope you are enjoying this. I hope you will check out the link in the description below. Uh, the one where you can go to Hearthstone and by all means you know you can start playing. As I've said, free to play game. Really easy to learn. Very hard to master, which is in my opinion the best kind of game there is. Uh, you don't, you know, you don't need any special skills for this. You pretty much just need a brain to think. And you can actually enjoy this. Um... You can enjoy this, and I'm, I'm not saying you can become champion of the world like Firebats. You know, don't, don't, don't. Anyone, anyone who says that I said that seriously goes screw yourself. So yeah, I actually only have one one drop. I never noticed that. <laughs> I never thought of that. I only have one one drop. Yeah, I guess I, I never really need the one drop. I guess that's probably also because I've never had someone drop a one drop against me. Meh. Shaman's gonna suck for this deck, except if I get a flame cannon. Eh, we'll see. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Seven Draws of Six. Until next time.